Hello everyone, welcome back to my tutorial. In this Salamaka tutorial, we will see how to solve um, thermal analysis with the convection boundary conditions. So in last, in last case, we have seen how to apply constant temperature boundary conditions and we have solved it. In this case, we will take a 3D model with so 0.5 meter length and 1 meter height and thickness is 0.1 meter. We will model in 3D and we will apply uh, forced convection in left side face and free convection in right side face and top and bottom surface will apply constant temperature. So thermal conductivity we will take uh, 60.5 watt per meter Kelvin. So we will do the linear thermal analysis. So this is the model we are going to model it. We will take a simple tetra mesh then we will We'll check the temperature distribution in this case. Now go to Salameca. Salameca is the free and open source uh, pre and post processing software and it has a software called Codaster which has very good capable of solving thermomechanical analysis. Now I'm just going for geometry model. So go to new entity, basic, first I will create 2D sketch, the rectangle 0.5 and 1 meter height. So here you can see the preview. So this is a rectangle it is going to generate. Okay. Now I just want to build a face. So go to build face. Now I have built the face. So previous case we have solved this 2D case. In this case we are going to do with the 3D model. Now I am just going to extrude this face. Generation extrusion. So vector is normal and thickness is 0.1. Now you, you, can, you can simply rotate and check. So this is the model. Then apply and close. Now we have generated this 3D model. Now we will create a groups for applying the boundary condition. So create group, faces, so left side face. Post convection apply right surface free convection apply top face constant temperature one apply then bottom face temperature 2 while naming it you should you should name the bound groups name without any space so for that I am naming it as by using underscore so apply and close now we can see I have created four groups to apply the boundary conditions so this is the volume so then we will save this file go to file save Here I am saving it. So now I have saved it. Now go for meshing. Extrusion is the arm geometry. We just want to mesh it. Go to mesh, create mesh. In this tutorial, we will create tetra mesh. So tetra 1D, 2D, 3D. Netgen 1D, 2D, 3D. It will generate the tetra mesh. Now we can specify. Okay, apply and close. Now right click this mesh and compute. Then close. Now you can see we have generated very good mesh as a tetra mesh. Now we can take this mesh for solving. Now we can check this groups are taken into the mesh. Yes, groups are came here. Now we can save this file. Now we can go for codaster. So choose the codaster. This one is you take it as stable. Okay. Now we'll use the assistant to generate the command file. Then we'll edit the command file. St add a stage with assistant. Linear thermal analysis. Now we just go for next. 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 Thermal conductivity of the material is 60.5. Go to next. Now 
here we can add imposed temperature on the groups now we need to add two imposed temperature one is 170 another one is 100 so constant temperature now here so first one is constant temperature 1 here you can check constant temperature 1 is a top surface so this is 170 and constant temperature 2 is bottom surface this is 100 then go to next do you want to add streams on normal to the face there is no flux heat flux so you just give it no then again there is no volumetric source give no again go to next now we can save this file go to pictures code aster 3d I'm just naming this output file as a thermal one dot rmid save then finish now you can see it has generated the command file everything the input file is mesh the output file is this one now we have only applied two boundary condition one is constant temperature 170 degrees celsius and constant temperature 100 degrees celsius in our case we need to apply convection boundary condition there are two conversion boundary conditions so for that so here go to load so impose temperature we have add now we can do exchange so for applying the convection boundary conditions exchange is the command to apply it if you want to apply flux you can go for flux heat source we can apply go for heat source so there are different boundary conditions are there now we'll go for exchange to apply the convection boundary conditions so to apply the convection boundary condition we need to choose the group for that group ma so forced convection is the left side so here you can see it left side surface then give ok then after we need to specify two values one is heat transfer coefficient and external temperature so heat transfer coefficient here is 55 watt per meter square kelvin and external temperature is 20 degrees celsius so now you specify that value 55 external temperature is 20 now give ok now we have specified one convection that is forced convection left side we have specified it there is one more convection in the right side add here then edit similarly go to group ma free convection in this right side then ok now similarly we need to specify heat transfer coefficient and external temperature here the heat transfer coefficient is 15 so 15 external temperature is 20 then give ok now we have specified two imposed temperature and two convection boundary conditions now just go to ok So now we have applied all the boundary conditions here. So this is a COEF which is the heat transfer coefficient external temperature. So convection boundary condition we have applied and also we have applied imposed temperature. Now the primary variable for thermal analysis temperature it will solve and get the temperature value. Okay. Now to get the fluxes we need to calculate by using calc champ. Go to calc champ here you name it as temp whatever the na name given here the same name we need to give temp thermic here we can specify it as flux node and flux element e e l n o means element n o e u means node so here we can give it as all okay now we have calculated then we need to write it in the output also just edit here and here already a temperature is there now now we can add one more go to edit resulted 
now here we can specify that this is the name n o m c h a m then we just add it here we can specify it as temperature f type it and flux these two thing here temperature temperature flux node these two thing we need to write it so then give ok then proceed ok now we can see temperature and flux this both will write this is already here here you can specify it as temperature instead temperature ok here instead we can remove this temperature ok and ok now you can see the first one it will write temperature the second one it will write flux so now we can save this file now just go to history view here there is a current case select this one here first we just press this plus button next you click this keep presets then you just change this auto refresh into 5 seconds then you you can specify the memory how much you want to specify it so now the code has to it will choose stable version of 15.6 so mpa cpu is 1 and time you can specify it here and you can specify memory also here so interactive window so everything we can control here then we can go for run just wait for a while the case is running now so if any error comes it will show red color if, if it is showing green color that means that it is the case is solved without any error now we can check with the message file also this is a message file here you can see diagnostic job is okay that means there is no error and alarm also now we can see the results I'm just saving this file now go to paravis to view the results go to build in open now go to here pictures codaster 3d I have named this is thermal one RMD just select this file here you can see temperature and flux apply it now we can choose first we'll see the temperature distribution here you just change this value to blue to red and this is you make it into 12 so this is the way temperature distribution will look like so to view the surface with edges this is you can give it here there is more there is a more temperature loss because here there is a forced convection here temperature loss is very less because here the convection is very free convection now we can go for flux here also you can change this into blue to red and make this into 12 so this is the way flux will look like this has a 3d object flux in x direction flux in y direction and flux in z direction so now we can see the temperature distribution so in this tutorial we have learned how to solve thermal problems in 3d model in next case we will see another case next, in next problem we will see another case thank you for watching my videos please subscribe my channel for more videos thank you